Greetings, mystics. I'm here to bring you the new moon forecast for the new moon in Cancer, which is taking place on Tuesday, June 28th at 9.53 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. I'm here with the Morgan Greer Tarot, and I pulled six cards. The cards are the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Rods, the Seven of Rods, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Rods, the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. We're looking at a fruitful and joyous time around this new moon. But let's back up to examine some details in our three categories. Our first three cards are regarding the category of the dark phase of the moon, the period in which the moon is not visible in the sky. This period also relates to a shadow phase within ourselves. So the shadow phase of the moon, the cards here are the four of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and ace of rods. I'm seeing that this is a good time to be receiving new insights and inspirations, intuitions, and ideas surrounding our money and finances, how to gain more stability, and how to be more joyous in our relationship to abundance, how to be more joyous in our relationship to prosperity, how to enjoy our lives in a more pleasurable way regarding um, what, what prosperity means to us, what abundance means to us. So what I'm picking up on here is that in order to celebrate the energies of prosperity and abundance, we really need to look at the aspects of our lives which offer us a lot of security and stability and this may not be in the traditional um in alignment with the traditional idea of money right so in what other ways do you have stability and security and a strong foundation in your life and in what other ways outside of the monetary system can you celebrate abundance and prosperity and bonus points if you can integrate in that into a physical pleasurable experience or into your expression of physical pleasure or into your um, expression of your five senses How can you celebrate abundance and prosperity um, with your body, with your five senses, completely in conjunction with earth-centered energy, with sensual energy? Keeping in mind that the word sensual relates to the senses. We're talking about our senses of touch, sight, uh, taste, smell, Uh, How can you create experiences in your life that celebrate and explore your five senses and allow you to feel beautiful, abundant, and prosperous? Uh, What is it that your body and your soul are craving right now? How can you bring those two things together um, in this celebration of pleasure? Look for new ideas surrounding this. Look for new insights and inspirations to be coming to you surrounding these concepts. Now, um, it's a good time to practice gratitude. It's a good time to be grateful for all of the ways in which you have security and stability and a strong foundation in your life, for all of the ways that you're able to enjoy your body and your senses, for all of the ways that you're able to seek pleasure and if you're not doing those things then perhaps it's a good time to find a way to do those things so um, these insights and inspirations that we're talking about uh, because we are talking here about the shadow phase so this is also in regard to the shadow phase within ourselves meaning things that are bubbling up from the surface things that are bubbling up from the unconscious things that are bubbling up from the underworld 
So we may be having some dreams or some intuition, some insights. We may be receiving some guidance, some messages, and we may not completely understand what it's in reference to. So keep this message in mind when that happens during the dark phase of this moon. This is very likely um, a piece of information that your uh, guidance is relating to. It's very likely that this, this theme will be showing up in your dreams and in your unconscious, in your intuition, or from your guides. Moving forward to the next three cards. These three cards are in relation to the transitional phase of the moon. So when the moon is coming, is transforming, it's coming out of the dark phase and developing into this beautiful tiny sliver when it's very first visible in the sky. The cards we have here are the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Wands. There's a strong sense here of wanting to, needing to, or trying to accomplish something in your relationships, in relationships with people that you feel very strongly about, that you're very close to, that you love dearly. And there's certainly a certain sense of um, it's an uphill battle. So you may not know yet that you are almost at the end of this battle. The indication is that you are nearly at the top of the hill. Changes have already started to take place underneath the surface of things. You may not see it yet. You may not feel it yet. It's very subtle, but you are nearly there. You're nearly uh, about to achieve the progress that you're seeking in this situation. When this progress has been achieved, you're going to feel a lot more aligned with your heart. In other words, you're going to feel a lot more um, like things are in balance in terms of uh, what you care about uh, actually um, the reality of the situation and how you feel about the situation lining up together, being in harmony. The Three of Wands is also here and the indication is that this person or people in the relationship that you're seeking to change, uh, benefit, or improve, these individuals are also recognizing during this time that they can't do it alone. But together, you will be coming to a conclusion that uh, works for everybody. And it's likely to be new ideas, um, a new approach, a completely new plan. And a lot of what you decide on together is highly uh, likely to be things that you have not considered before. So be open-minded in this situation. Understand that changes are already happening. Um, they do care about you. They do, and they are beginning to recognize that um, they can't do this alone and that you need to work together um, more beneficially, more in harmony, um, and more in alignment with, with love, more in alignment with your feelings. So there's a strong sense here uh, that the situation will resolve itself through putting love at the forefront, through putting feelings for each other at the forefront and letting go of some of the other things that aren't as important. Moving forward to our last three cards, these three cards relate to the phase of the moon when it is that beautiful new moon visible in the sky when it has completed its transition from the dark phase and we can see it gleaming above us so this is about what is brought to fruition what is brought into illumination what is brought into the light through this new moon in cancer 
And we're seeing the Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. So two Cups cards here. Um, definitely there is a, a lot of sort of energy of family and friends and joy and celebration going on around this new moon. It's going to be a great time to spend time with others, to have a really loving and harmonious um, and joyful time. It's a good time to just find a reason to celebrate, really. Just celebrate life if you have no other reason to celebrate just celebrate life and be fun and creative in the way that you do that it doesn't have to be a conventional celebration it doesn't have to be a, a conventional party um, find a way maybe something that's whimsical maybe something that's a little innocent maybe something that's childlike um, perhaps your inner child wants to come out and play and, and celebrate life with your friends or family or loved ones around this this new moon go with that feeling if it should arise it's a very beneficial time that sort of energy is going to be surrounding you and your connections and your relationships and because of that it's also a good time to repair relationships like we talked about with the last three cards and it's a good time for reconciliation it's a good time to bring relationships back into harmony so backing up and looking at these details about what's going to be brought into fruition, um, we're seeing harmony in the home. We're seeing a certain comfort level in the home. We're seeing a sense that there is um, synchronicities or good luck on our side, that things are just falling into place in our home life and in our relationships. And we're seeing a very positive outcome. I have to say this would also be a good time for or fertility, a good time to get pregnant or to adopt or to start the IVF process. This is a good time for that kind of energy to work with children, to work with animals, and to bring something into creation. Um, whether that creation is art or, or music or a business idea, this is a good time for that around this Cancer New Moon. So I have a strong sense here of relationships, especially in the home life, that were previously out of balance or previously problematic, really coming back into harmony um, once this new moon is up and visible in the sky. Um, I have a strong sense of that falling into place in a way that doesn't require as much effort as we thought that it did previously. Um, in fact, letting go of some of the details, letting go of some of the um, analysis and some of the uh, heavy-handed approaches at this time is really going to be beneficial. It's going to allow things to fall into place naturally. Stepping back and allowing other people to take initiative, that is highly recommended in your relationships at this time. This would be a good time to make some good progress and accomplish some positive things by stepping back and just allowing things to unfold. There are going to be um, synchronicities, uh, perhaps signs and messages. There's going to be a lot of good luck surrounding these very important relationships and surrounding the home life. This is going to be a very uh, joyous and positive new moon. So many, many blessings. And the new moon reading is sponsored by my mystic members via Patreon. If you would like to become a mystic member, you can support these new moon readings and benefit from so many other services and rewards. <laughs>